Good afternoon to you. Hope you're doing well. This is David John with Bounce and Tribe, Body, Mind, and Spirit. We all face challenges in life, <clears throat> and how would you like to be able to handle those relatively easy? The minor ones, such as misplacing your keys, maybe missing your alarm, to the major ones, such as losing, uh, losing a loved one or getting a major health diagnosis. That's how I found out the importance of working on my body, my mind, and spirit. I went for a simple, simple biopsy for the tumor in my sinus, but due to complications, I woke up in ICU the next day. A bunch of tubes came at me. When I found out I was ICU, my reaction was okay. Went back the following week, even had more complications, but I got a cancer diagnosis, and I was okay with that. Went back the following week for an eight-hour surgery, which turned out to be an eight-hour surgery. Going into it, didn't know if they were going to remove part of the eye or part of the brain, but the area, luckily, gratefully for me, they went all through the sinus. So after the surgery, you couldn't even tell anything was done. And right now, as I'm doing this video, I am at a over two and a half years cancer free, so I'm grateful for that. But that is what I learned from Bouncing the Tribe Body, Mind, Spirit. So today's topic, do you actually know what you want? Most people don't. And if you were to ask someone, consider this for even for yourself. A lot of times you ask people what they want, they will tell you what they don't want. They don't want to be in this job. They don't want to be in debt. They don't want to be doing this. They don't want to do that. Don't, 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 don't. It's not telling you what they want. They tell you what you don't want. And a little sidetrack here, the subconscious doesn't quite understand the negative. Just like when you tell kids, don't go run out the street, all they hear is run out into the street. So you got to be careful what you tell your subconscious, which is part of the mind part of it. But it's actually, it's to even get anywhere, you really need to take time to sit down and figure out what you want. One of the main questions, well, out of the forms, I have for clients to fill out once a nice big long detailed health intake form but one of the core sections of it is this question here if you had a magic wand it can grant you three wishes what would those be and in a sense that is the core for the coaching sessions i have because that is saying tell me what the people actually want so consider for yourself and it could be in the of body, it could be mind and spirit, or probably all three, because they all interact as you as watch and learn about. But take some time to really figure out. Don't say what you don't want. <clears throat> Flip this on its head. Instead of saying, I don't want to be in debt, I don't want to be in debt, figure out, I want enough income to meet my financial needs. And then part of it is, is figure out what is that income? And then what are the steps you might be able to take to start doing that? Whether it's a side hustle, side job, whatever it could be. And there are ways to do that. But literally take some time to really ponder. And this is one of the challenges I have with myself. Sometimes if I sit there and to go inside to ponder questions about myself, to go inside deep, sometimes I'm okay. Other times I resist them and fight them and don't want to do it. And that holds me back. I'm sure it holds you back as well if you do that. So yeah, take some time to ponder. If you want to, write it out. What is it you actually want? Because again, as I just said a few moments ago, most people say what they don't want. Don't phrase that. What is it you actually want? And some, and sometimes it's not necessarily as simple as saying, okay, here's what I don't want. I want the opposite. And it's not, not always, it can be, but sometimes it's not always as simple. But take some time to really ponder that question and think about the one, as I just mentioned. It's, uh, I keep pointing over here, my, that's my desk that I had the intake form out over there. And that is, if you had a magic wand, and will grant you three wishes. What would those be? That's a place for you to start. And now consider, take some time to really figure out what it is you want, ponder that question, and think deeply on it. And then I'm going to try, you know I can get on different tangent stuff, what I'm going to try to do is do a follow-up to these and kind of keep a progressive, progressive prog progression, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for, for each one of these, but that's the first step. Take some time to figure out what it is you want. And again, you can use that question I just mentioned a couple times here. If you had a magic wand, it would grant you three wishes, what would they be? So take some time to consider that. All right, so I will continue up with this tomorrow. So enjoy the rest of your day. Take care and balance it to you. Bye-bye.